Hey everyone, James Wise with Holden Wise. Today we are answering another question in the Ask James Wise video series. Today's question comes from Q Hun Lee. Hashtag Ask James Wise. Thank you so much for your videos. You're welcome. Those are really helpful. I am planning to start rental business in Cleveland area. I am new. I have no idea. Which area is good for rental business? You said Euclid is a very hot place because of Amazon Fulfillment Center. There will be another Amazon Fulfillment Center at North Randall. Why you don't mention about North Randall? I kind of think Cleveland Heights or University Heights or Solon area. Which property is better? B neighborhood single house or B or C neighbor duplex? Two bedroom or three bedroom? Please help me. Thank you. Great questions. Let's dive in. Okay, several questions in your question here. Let's try to pick them off one by one. The main thing I want to hit is why do I love Euclid so much more than I love North Randall? Kudos to you for doing your research and finding out that there's also going to be another Amazon Center in North Randall. That's awesome. The reason I talk about Euclid so much more than North Randall is just the overall size. You see, Euclid, last time we did a census, the population of Euclid, 48,920 people. North Randall's not actually a city, it's a village. The last time we did the census, there was only 1,027 people living in North Randall. So what that means is there's really no inventory in the actual village of North Randall. In the last six months, one house is available for sale and one house has sold. However, neighboring cities are going to achieve the same amount of benefits that Euclid will. Now, it neighbors the southeastern area of Cleveland. I don't really like that neighborhood. I think that is one of the rougher neighborhoods in the entire Cleveland area. If you take a look at the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you'll see that I consider many of the neighborhoods in the southeastern side of Cleveland proper to be a D or an F class area. So a lot of the population around the North Randall Center is going to be there. I don't like investing there. However, Maple Heights, Bedford, and Bedford Heights, those areas are also going to get some big boosts like we're seeing up in, in Euclid. I like Euclid better than those three cities, but those three cities are going to see a little bit of boost. Other than that, other cities that are near North Randall are going to be Bentleyville, Orange, and Highland Hills. Okay, Those are not rental cities. Again, looking at the ultimate guide, those are affluent cities. Some of the most wealthy people in the entire northeastern Ohio area live in areas like Bentleyville, Orange, and Highland Hills. So for those of you looking to invest in Cleveland for cash flow, you can go ahead and cut those three areas out of your list. Those are five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollar homes, a couple million dollar estates. That's the kind of stuff you find there. So for North Randall, again, we have Maple Heights, Bedford, Bedford Heights. Yes, it will see an increase. I like those areas because of that. However, the majority of the people living around there are going to be in the southeastern part of Cleveland. I don't like that area. As such, I talk about Euclid because I think Euclid is a much better city. It's close to the lake. Euclid is where I'm placing my chips. If I'm going to pick between Maple Heights or Euclid, I'm going Euclid. If I'm picking Bedford or Euclid, I'm going Euclid. Now, as far as some of your other questions here, Cleveland Heights, love Cleveland Heights. We do a ton of investing in Cleveland Heights. We are pumping out so many Cleveland Heights properties in our daily deals. For those of you that have no idea what our daily deals are, every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we send out one investment property to you. Typically, it's got a video just like this one, video tour, drone footage, everything. You name it. So subscribe to that mailing list. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook for the opportunity to invest in those properties. University Heights is pretty nice. You're going to rent to college students. You're going to get a lot of doctorate students, a lot of Case Western students. So I do love University Heights. Solon, Solon's going to be similar to Bentleyville, Orange, and Highland Hills. Not necessarily a high demand rental area. You see a lot of folks from the West Coast or other expensive markets. They target Cleveland because our prices are so, so low. So if you're looking at an area like Solon, you're probably better off just investing closer to home. Lastly, your last couple parts of this question, what's better, B or C? Well, I guess that really depends on your goals. I think B is a more stable investment, okay? If you're a first-time investor, which it looks like you are, I would say B is better for you, okay? If we sell you a B-class asset, we could provide you with a more consistent return. The numbers might not be as sexy as those C-class assets, but you see C-class assets, things go great, 
then they go bad, then they go great, then they go bad, then they go great. B-class assets, they just kind of chug along, so we're never going to reach out to you with really, really bad news, or if we do, it's very infrequent. I make money investing in all asset classes, C and B specifically. However, for the out-of-state investor who has to pay a third party like Holton Wise to handle their investment, I think you really just want to park your money somewhere nice and safe, kind of set it and forget it. You know, real estate investing made easy. For that reason, I think you should focus on B-class areas. And again, back to my original point, that's why I think Euclid, of all those cities, is the best. I think it's got the best demographics. It's close to the lake. you got the upside of Amazon. Don't recommend you go into the southeastern part of Cleveland. Just It's a tough, challenging neighborhood. And Maple Heights, Bedford, Bedford Heights, those are nice, but all things being considered, I prefer Euclid over those. Well, Mr. Lee, I hope that answers all your questions. For the rest of you that have questions, make sure you are subscribed to this channel or following us on Facebook if you want the opportunity to learn while you earn. That's what this channel is all about. That's what Holton Wise is all about. We are all about providing you guys education as well as some of the hottest deals for sale in the entire country. If you'd like to find out more about me, James Wise, my personal story as an investor, broker, entrepreneur, you can go ahead and follow me on my personal Instagram at James Wise HWPG. With that page, I post on it every single day, and I like to peel back the layers, let you guys see the behind the scenes. When you become a real estate investor, I want you to see what life is going to be like, what you're going to go through, because it's not always rainbows and somersaults. Sometimes this business gets downright tough, and it gets savage. As always, I'm James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.